talk about that as a design principle, but really talk about it in terms of what are some of the paths because people might be saying, hey, this is interesting, but I don't really know how this fits for me. I want us to talk about a couple of the paths and I haven't told for all of the rest of you, I haven't told Sarah which ones yet, but just just to give everybody sort of a general sense of, of what some of these paths, give us some examples of what some of these pathways are. Sure. Well, let me, I'll give it, I'll give a few examples and then I'll talk about the design principle behind this. So one of the um, examples is, you know, the thing you would most expect in a book about creativity, which is come up with ideas, right? A lot of people sort of zero in on this as the essence of creativity, and it is a really important part. And so there and it's are the some, least interesting part of the book, everybody. <laughs> so there are, you know, a whole set of um, assignments in here that are about coming up with ideas, but hopefully these are all practices you haven't seen before. Um, there's a section, uh, a, a cluster called Locate Your Own Voice which is, again, if you're one of those people who's working more as an individual, finding inspiration, passion, and perspective. Um, there's a section called Tell a Compelling Story and all of the assignments that are about how do you bring to life your vision of what your new product or service are offering or what the world is gonna look like once you've, you know, your design lands, um, how, how you bring that to life. But then there's also things that I think are gonna be quite useful for people who are leading teams or leading organizations. Um, things around uh, working well with others, um, building trust and courage and energy and joy. Um, and then some of those, um, uh, I think, skills that are really important um, for all of us who are thinking about um, creating or making new things, which is about how do you peer into the future? How do you actually get a sense of what the world might look like after you launch your new product or service or experience and what some of the effects might be um, down the road? So there are so many different kind of ways into this very rich material. Um, and I really, the design principle there is nobody learns the same way as the person sitting next to them. Nobody is on exactly the same, you know, in the, exactly the same moment in their creative journey. And far trying be it from the same problem, trying to uh, exactly, nobody's, stuff. that's exactly right. So it was really important to me to bake that principle right into this book, which is you as somebody who might be learning or stoking your own curiosity or creative abilities, you deserve the opportunity to navigate without me telling you, here's the mental model for creativity you should use, right? I'm very much in the camp of like, you have to, you have to kind of develop your own creative uh, process and your own vocabulary and your way of thinking about how creativity works for you. These are a whole bunch of methods that you can use along the way towards that goal.